fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most basic things we can do as a hobbyist. How to change water in your fish tank. Grab yourself a healthy snack and a beverage. Stand by. Alright fishy folks, today we're going to be talking about one of the most basic things we do as fish hobbyists, water changes. Before we get started, I'm going to take a drink from my coldest water. You guys know they're a sponsor of the channel. Check out the link down below. Buy a water bottle for your mother for Mother's Day. Buy one for yourself. Buy one for your wife. Buy one for your mistress. I don't care. Buy as many as you want. Alright fishy folks, how to change water. Now as you know, I get a lot of ideas from Facebook. I look at the, the different groups. I've been kicked out of a couple of groups recently for not being able to keep my mouth shut. Unfortunately, I'm too honest. Some people say I'm mean. I say they're snowflakes, whatever. Um, and I see questions about water changes and how, how come I change water and my fish die and you can't change more than X amount of water because then you'll take too much beneficial bacteria out and oh my God, they're idiots. So first, before we talk about how to change water, let's quickly go over why we change water. We change water to remove nitrates. It's that simple. Yes, we, re re we replenish some other minerals and nutrients, and yes, sometimes we remove water to remove hormones from the fish if they're, you know, getting frisky. But the basic basic is to remove nitrates, okay? So there's a simple formula of how much water to change when. Okay, if anyone tells you different, that's fine. There's many ways to do things, but they're probably wrong. You change X amount of water at a predetermined amount of nitrates. Not, I always change 50% a week. Why? Just because that's what I was told. I do three small water changes a week because I don't want to change too much water at once. Why? Because you're an idiot. It's very simple. Let's just take 40 parts per million. When your water reaches 40 parts per million, you change 50% water. That will leave you with three, carry the two, divide by the square root and the exponent. That's right, 20 parts per million nitrate. Simple calculation, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about how to change water. First of all, there's no such thing as changing too much water. Those of you that tell you that, don't know what they're doing, don't listen to them. <clears throat> There is very little to no beneficial bacteria in the water column itself. Is there some? Yes. But is there a lot? No. The majority of it is in your filter, in the substrate if you have it, on surfaces in the tank, not in the water column. Okay. Now, <coughs> now that we know how or when to change water, let's talk about how to change water. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit down, take a deep breath and think to yourself, I'm not going to overthink this, okay? It's very simple. You remove a certain amount of water, then you add in dechlorinator. I like Fritz Complete or Fritz ACCR, but whatever you're gonna use, whether it's uh, Seachem Prime or Safe or one of the other brands out there, you dose that for the entire volume of the tank. Then you add water back in. But Mike, what about the temperature? That's a good question, Johnny. The temperature has to be close. Does it have to be exact? No. Just close. What's close? If you feel the water in the tank and it feels like 74, and then you feel water from the tap and you, you, you mess with the hot and cold until it feels, I don't know, like it's 74, it's good. Only the most sensitive of fish require different things, different way to do things. But for most of the fish that we keep, live bearers, cichlids, plecos, quarries, tetras, sharks, all the common fish that you see in community tanks and at your local fish stores, they don't require anything special. It's simply get the water close. Don't stress yourself over a few degrees, okay? Not only 
is the volume in your the water in your tank at a certain temperature that's going to help stabilize but you just got to be close because they're not that sensitive now a lot of people say you can change too much water that is complete bs you cannot if something happens when you change your water you've done something wrong you've forgotten to add the dechlorinator <coughs> you haven't added enough dechlorinator or your water was too hot or too cold. And I'm talking a noticeable difference when you touch it with your hand. Don't even think about using a thermometer. There is no need. Don't stress yourself. Don't overthink it. Now I could show you actually how to change water, but I'm pretty sure we all know you hook up your Python, you start a siphon, you put a small pump in, you pump it into buckets, you pump it out the window, you pump it into your sink. It doesn't matter how you actually do it. The fact is, don't overthink it. Simply remove a certain volume of water, add your dechlorinator if you need it, then add more water and it's approximately the same temperature. Now you notice I said if you need it. If you're on a well, you don't need a dechlorinator. You might want to add something in case there are heavy metals or you don't know. It's up to you. I like to test my water every couple months coming out of the tap to see what's going on. Um, some people say, they have a nitrate problem or they have an ammonia problem and they change water and it doesn't fix it. That happens for one of two reasons. You're testing incorrectly or you have that in your source water. If you have an ammonia problem and you change water and your ammonia doesn't really change, check your source water for ammonia. Same thing with nitrates or nitrites. Don't overthink it. That's the key to water changes. Don't worry about a schedule. Some people like the schedule. They like to change water every Saturday morning, 50% on all their tanks, no matter what, and that's fine. You're probably wasting time, money, and effort, but if that makes you happy and it works, keep it up. All right, fishy folks, that does it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. <coughs> I'm fine. It's just a, a morning cough. Check out teespring.com for these awesome t-shirts. Got, got this new one. The logo is bigger, and on the back, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can see it, but it says, Guppy Fry, tender and delicious. Just thought I should make a shirt. All right, guys, thanks, have a great day. 0.25 nitrate, really, you'll start to see some issues. I don't know why I'm doing this. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep my mouth shut, and I've been kicked out of many a group recently because I can't ha handle the stupid. So, um, yeah. <coughs> so I don't use any of that, any, any dechlorinator in my fish room, but <sighs> water back in and that's it. We got to start over because I don't know about temperature keeping fish. And that's a water change, right? Here's what I found. It's not even relevant. Hi, fishy folks. Welcome back to the channel. Nope. Nope. No. So, if you see somebody online ask, how do I do a water change or how much water should I change? No, see, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a